Hello everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and in this video we're going to take four routers, pop them all into RIP, so pop in all the loopbacks and the interfaces into RIP. We're going to take a look at the routing table after that and see where the RIP routes are and then we're going to run EIGRP on top of it and see if that interferes with the RIP routes. So if you've been studying for your CCNA, CCNP or whatever, you know that, well hopefully you know that, EIGRP has an administrative distance of 90 and RIP has an administrative distance of 120. And you've probably also read that the lower administrative distance wins when you're comparing routes from different protocols. So let's say for example you've got this loopback at 10121. This is actually the network 10120 since it's a slash 24. If you have a RIP route going here and an EIGRP route going here, the EIGRP route will take precedence. It will win. So what exactly does that mean? Well, we're going to fire it up and we're going to see how that looks in our routing table and through our debugs. So we're going to use the cheating way of popping everything in here. So we've got our notepad. I've got a basic RIP configuration. So ConfT, router RIP, version 2, no auto, network 0000. Going to copy it to my clipboard. Going to fire up the console windows of all my routers. So router 1, router 2, router 3, and router 4. And very simply, right click, right click, right click, right click. So now RIP is running on all my routers. That took about three seconds. Going to exit out on router 1, do a show IP route. And you can see here I've got RIP routes to all of my interfaces, all the networks out there. I could ping 10121. Okay, I've got connectivity, so everything works. Do a show IP RIP database. Okay, so you can see all these nice RIP routes coming from my neighbors. So that's all very good. It's, it's awesome. Let's do another show IP route. And let's do a quick debug IP RIP just to see the packets that are flying around. Wait a couple seconds because RIP is damn slow on the default settings. There we go. Okay, and you all to stop the debug. So you can see here I'm receiving lots of debugs. I'm building this entry. I'm sending it out. Let's see, I'm receiving that from my neighbor at router 2. Receiving this from my neighbor at router 4. So everything looks normal. Okay, now we're going to start up EIGRP. We're going to go back to Notepad. I already have this typed in. ConfT router EIGRP 1, no auto network 0000, same as before. Right click, right click, right click, and right click. Got to hit enter on all of those. Now I've got EIGRP running. My adjacencies are coming up. Show IP protocols just to verify and we've got ERGP1 and you're going to see something interesting when I do a show IP route show IP route all my R routes are now gone and they have been replaced with EIGRP so all the all the R routes are now D routes they go to the same place I still have connectivity because it's a simple replacement here and you can see I can ping 10121 everything's good if I do a show IP RIP database. Let's see if that's changed. And you can see here it says is possibly down. Okay. So what's happening here is that the routers are getting conflicting information for the routes. So if we look back at our diagram. So for example this particular route here 10120 from router 1's perspective and actually from all the routers perspective it now has two ways of getting there the first way is RIP and the second way is EIGRP they're both sort of think of them as before going into the routing table there's a pre-routing table and now it has to compare the administrative distance well the EIGRP one is going to win and RIP is sort of thrown to the side and so what's What's interesting here is now the routers know that, okay, well, EIGRP is winning for all the RIP routes. They're not even going to bother sending those updates to the neighbors uh, eventually when everything times out on the RIP. So after that 240 second flush timer when everything's actually down from RIP's perspective, you're going to see that if you do a debug 
IP rip. So if I go on router one, debug IP rip, you're going to see that things will eventually calm down and you're going to get very few updates and also your router is going to send very few rip updates also. Okay. So if you remember before, our rip updates were you had like three, four, maybe even five updates going around. Now we have very few updates going, you know, there are two, two, we received two here. So everything is definitely quieted down quite a bit. And in fact, if you look here, we'll do a you all. Let's see, sending an update, I'm sending just information about my directly connected stuff. We received an update, this is from router two. This is just information from directly connected interfaces, and this is all also information from directly connected interface. So the routers are not sending information that is learned from their RIP routers, so their RIP neighbors. So before, what was happening is router 4 was sending all of the RIP information it received from routers 2 and router 3 back to router 1. Now what's happening is router 4 is only sending the RIP information about itself because all of the particular routers are suppressing their routes because EIGRP is winning. So if you have another protocol or you have a static route that is winning over RIP, then the RIP, the routers are going to say, okay, well, if EIGRP is winning, there's no sense in me sending RIP information about that particular route. So they tend to be a little bit... Uh, a little bit of an intelligence on that on that portion of the iOS. Okay, so that was a pretty quick and easy video of how EIGRP will beat RIP in Ministerial Distance, and you can see here by show IP route that indeed it does knock out the RIP routes from your routing table. Well, that was another Router Gods video. Thank you very much for watching.